excited about, and we are demonstrating the February challenge video of stability ball core exercises. So we will have another video that is without the ball. Um, this is a more difficult version of the same workout. So anything on an elevated surface is unstable. Um, so inherently more difficult. So if you feel like you are just starting your core challenge, uh, you know, routine, definitely go with something without the ball and then graduate to something with the ball. So some of these exercises are very intense and you should do them as you feel comfortable. So the first one is a uh, plank, elevated plank with toe taps. So you're stacking your wrists under your shoulders and you're actually gonna tap each foot onto the floor. Try to minimize lateral movement, keeping that core tight. So really good stability, core stability exercise. Try to keep your hips up, core tight, and obviously your breathing. Okay. Um, I'll take a break for the second. Second, the next one is again elevating your legs on the ball, a reverse crunch. So this one, again, putting your feet up on the ball, stacking joints. Here you're going to actually tuck your knees into your chest and then come back out. So knees tuck and then back in. So really good core stability, control, utilizing your obliques for stability as well. Really good exercise. So this would be the reverse crunch. Next one, bridges. Um, this one you can make more difficult in a variety of ways. So elevate your legs. You can um, put your calves a little higher up on the ball for making it easier. The ball's further away, it's more difficult. And you're just gonna press your hips up into the ceiling and then slowly lower, or you can keep your hips raised. Uh, making it more difficult, you can bring your hands up here. And again, if you wanna add difficulty, you can lower your arms and then raise and lower a leg. All kinds of things that you can do. So the hip bridging is really good uh, stability exercise for your core. So that's your bridge. Next one, we've got uh, abdominal raise. So this one kind of more targets your lower abdominal region. So you're gonna hug the ball with your legs. You can kind of go into a wide V if you need to. Tuck your chin into your chest, hands are behind your head, and you're just gonna bring that ball up and then back down. Bring that ball up. And the key is that you wanna to try to get your tailbone off the floor just a little bit to really engage those deep core muscles. Okay? So that's the abdominal ball raise. Uh, next one, we've got oblique crunches. Really good one for the transverse abdominis. Uh, good for those, uh, you know, any type of rotational exercise or keeping everything uh, in alignment. So this one, if you find that you're having some difficulty uh, keeping your legs elevated, it's perfectly fine to keep your feet on the floor. So I'll demonstrate both. Uh, balls in front of you, neutral spine, tuck, tuck your chin into your chest, and you're just going to rotate from side to side. Rotate side to side. So the tendency is for sometimes you'll see people do this with their arms. The difference is you want to follow the ball with your chest. So as you move the ball, your chest follows and you get to full rotation. So the next level of difficulty would be rotating here. So elevate your legs and then same thing. Follow the ball with your chest. Okay. And then the last one, regular crunches. So here, you're actually on the ball. Lower yourself down to where your lower back is supported. Um, here, really important, you tuck your chin into your chest to maintain that neutral spine, so you don't wanna let your head go. You need to keep it here. Um, hands are at your ears, not really pulling on your head, just supporting, lightly touching here. And then you're just gonna crunch up and then slowly come back down. Crunch up and slowly come back down. And you can do a variety of things here. So if one day you're doing a regular crunch and the next day you wanna do like a ceiling press, something like that, or you can do, add a little bit of an oblique twist to it. All kinds of fun things that you can do. But honestly, one of the best ones you can do is just that elevate and hold and slowly lower, okay? So this has been your core challenge for February. Do it uh, as much as you would like and uh, add difficulty and repetitions as you feel needed. Enjoy.